I, I, look, it's all, it, we talked about this a lot. You remember we went to buy Husky? Mm. And people say, oh, it's not leaving town. There is just a, <clears throat> in his view, he likes diversification. So he's, out of, he's in property, he's in retail, he's in telephone business, he's in all these different kinds of businesses. He likes that, as long as they're all doing well. <clears throat> That's sensible diversification, geographical diversification. You can't own the whole of Hong Kong. You own the electricity company, you own the telephone company, you own this, you own, it will become very unpopular. We've, we've got um, Hong Kong Electric is a consumer of uh, energy. So KS was very enthusiastic. It wasn't my idea, Husky. It was his idea, but I was the one who did the negotiation. So, um, to buy Husky. Um, geographical spread is perfectly legitimate. I mean, he's got assets in China, big assets in China. He's got more assets outside of Hong Kong than in Hong Kong. Well, when did you last run from one end of Hong Kong to the other? There's nothing. Hong Kong is a tiny little place. Yeah, we've got seven million people, but there are seven billion people in the world. Yeah? We've, got to, we've got to breathe. Hmm? Who auctions the land at the highest possible price? Hong Kong government. I would put that blame on the Hong Kong government before I put it on the, on, the, um, uh, on the developer. Of course the developer, any developer in the world, wants the best price for his building. You want to go to London sometime? Go to New York? Uh, go to China? You think a property developer wants to sell at a specially low price? He might give to charity, he might build a hospital, he might build a school, he might support a university. The price of property in Hong Kong starts with the government auctioning the land at the highest possible price. Where else? He told me six months ago, maybe a nearly a year ago. That's when I resigned from Chong Kong. Um, I think you know retiring. He's just making it easier for Victor. We've got uh, we've got a queen in England and she's got a 67 year old son and he's wondering when he's gonna get the job. She, she, you can be in charge of the Commonwealth. So he is now the head of the Commonwealth, Prince Charles. But she's still the Queen, right? So, Victor, you're going to be running Hutchison. I think the Emperor is still there. So Happy retirement. What else do you want me to say? <laughs>